a kingdom was prospering. But peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. The gentle moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. The thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. 